I, I want to just beg you, beg you, please read this book for yourself. If you don't study this book for yourself, I don't know what hope there is for you, honestly. And, and here's why I say that. There is so much false teaching out there right now. There is so much false teaching out there. That's why I go, man, don't even listen to what I'm saying necessarily. Look it up. See if that's what the, real, what the Bible really says. I'm not, I'm not saying that you've got to be some Hebrew scholar or Greek scholar, but I'm saying some of those supposed scholars are really messing us up. And we're missing the obvious teaching of Scripture. I'm saying just read this book over and over and over. We encourage every, everyone in our, our churches, you know, down in San Francisco, we read through the Bible together, verse by verse, all, you know, the whole Bible every year, because I want my people reading the word for themselves. I want them to see the power that's in this, and I want them to catch what's obvious and what is emphasized. Because the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, in verse 3, it says, the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. Paul tells Timothy, look, a time's coming when people aren't going to put up with sound doctrine. But because they have these itching ears, like they want to hear certain things, they're, they're, they're going to accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. How do you accumulate teachers to suit your own passions? It's, it, it's about your passion. You want something. Listen, something I learned in seminary is I can make this book say anything I want. Give me a topic. You want to kill rabbits for fun? I will show you how to proof text that. I'll come up with some obscure cultural fact and give you some verb that means hop. I, I, you know, whatever. I'll, 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 I'll twist this, twist that, and, you'll, and you won't know any better. You don't know Hebrew. This is what I learned in seminary. Man, I can make this thing say anything. And if you want something to be true, you can find someone with a PhD in Bible to tell you whatever you want to say. Go to the Christian bookstore. You want to get a divorce? I'll, I'll find you a book that'll prove to you it's just totally fine under any condition. You want to ignore the poor? I, I can find you guys that will fight for that. And they'll have a doctor before their name. I'm telling you, there's so much crafty, weird, false teaching out there that if you are not a student of this book, I really don't know how you're going to make it. I really don't know how you're going to get to what is true and what is actually emphasized in this book. See, Paul's talking about the end times here. and He says, in the, in the end times, it's, it's going to get crazy. And the issue isn't that these scholars are really coming up with these things and that it's really true. The issue is the same issue it's always been. It's about their passions. It's about sin. And how sin is going to creep itself into the church. 